Definitely not used to this new hair yet. If you guys don't follow me on social media, you would not know that I got my hair done, but I did and it turned out so cool. I feel so different and it looks really like purpley bluish now, but it is going to fade to like a nice icy gray color, but yeah very different. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are going to be doing more DIY birthday gifts because if you haven't seen my previous video like this, I will have it linked down below. I basically just shared three really inexpensive, fun birthday gift ideas that will work for anyone in your life. And I wanted to share three more with you in this video. I did also want to quickly mention that I am doing a giveaway of an Instax Polaroid mini camera type thing. Color of your choice. I'm basically just going to be picking a winner at the end of the month. And the only rule is you have to be subscribed. So if you want to win, subscribe. And before we hop into the video, I just wanted to quickly mention it's super appropriate to be like posting at this time because my birthday is actually on Monday, October 24th. I'm going to be 21 and that's like so exciting. And yeah, I'm really pumped. So just thought I'd throw it out there and definitely leave me a comment down below when your birthday is because I want to know. So leave it down below. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the video. The first DIY gift we are going to be making is a birthday bento box, which is kind of inspired by like those sushi bento boxes. They also make candy ones at like Sugarfina, but those are really, really expensive. So might as well make your own. I started off with this container from Michael's. They come in a bunch of different sizes, so you can really customize which size you want to get and how much candy you actually want to buy to put in it. And then all you have to do is fill it with your friend's favorite candy, whether that's all chocolates or a whole bunch of like Skittles, different flavored Skittles. You guys can be the judge of this. I just kind of did a random assortment and I think it turned out really fun and colorful. And then for the top or like the label of the box, I took a couple pieces of construction paper and some Sharpies and wrote out happy birthday, hope it's as sweet as you. I just thought that was really cute and very fitting. And then you can go ahead and just tape it to the box and that's pretty much all you have to do for this gift. It's so perfect. Honestly, it's so inexpensive and I feel like anyone would really appreciate this because I think it's so cute. Like I mentioned, you can really make this personal and include candy that your friend really loves. And I'm curious what your favorite candy is. Mine would have to be Swedish berries, which I actually didn't include. But yeah, let me know in the comments. This next gift is perfect for those of you that have friends that like to take baths or need something for like your mom, older sister, or your aunt. I think this would be perfect for those types of people in your life. So all you're going to need for these birthday bath salts are some regular Epsom salts that I just got at Walmart, some cornstarch, baking soda, and some vanilla extract, which I'm actually going to have the original recipe linked down below so you guys can go check it out. It did call for like butter extract, which I didn't have, so I just used vanilla, but honestly, you could pretty much use any extract you want. And then just go ahead and mix it all together and add some fun sprinkles. Of course, you can get all natural ones but I just had these really pretty star ones in my cupboard so that is what I use and then I got this container at Michael's for literally a dollar fifty and it fit the mixture perfectly I did half the recipe exactly and it fit amazingly and then I just topped it off with some more sprinkles as you guys saw it's a really simple gift to make it doesn't take much time at all and all the ingredients are really inexpensive or you already have them in your house which is awesome and you can also make a big batch of this and give it to a bunch of your friends if you have a ton of birthdays coming up and the final idea for you guys is more of a gift wrapping idea because I don't know about you guys, but I always give gift cards for different events and things. And I always feel that it's a little underwhelming to say the least if I just hand it to them in a card per se. So I wanted to show you guys a bigger way to kind of give someone a smaller gift. The first thing I did was paint the top of the box with a sparkly glittery type of paint so it'll show up and be kind of different but of course you can decorate it however you like and then I went to the dollar store and got a helium balloon for literally a dollar fifty but I did ask them to not blow it up completely because if it's all the way up it's not going to fit into the box depending on the box you use of course then I just taped it to the bottom of the box put my card on top and then squished the balloon down with some tissue paper that's pretty much all you have to do and then when they open it it is going to kind of lift of course they're gonna have to pull it out but you guys will see that in a few seconds now I'm just tying the box closed with some purple iridescent ribbon that I got at the dollar store and I'm doing kind of the four ways around it and then curling the edge of the ribbon and then to cheat it a little bit to kind of secure the box so the balloon doesn't lift the top I'm actually just like pulling the strings and making them tighter and then adding the fun little ribbon on top and that's pretty much all I did so easy really inexpensive but it is going to be a really fun gift when they open it Like 
Like I mentioned before, this idea is perfect for when you're giving gift cards, but it would also work if you are gifting someone tickets to like a play or a show or a sports game or something. I think this would be a really fun way to display it. I always like having people open a little bit of a bigger gift than just a card and stuff. So even though your gift may not physically be big, this is a big way to show it. comment down below which gift idea you like the best and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and it helps people find my channel so that would be really awesome and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you lovely people in my next video have a great day bye